Alright gamers, welcome back to Kingdom Coven Deliverance Part 4. Last we left off, we did some awesome training, and I can't hear anything. Uh, hopefully the game sound hasn't started yet, because I don't hear nothing. Am I deaf? <laughs> what happened? Oh, there we go. I was just like, what happened? Why? No. But yeah, we did some training. We up, we beat the rich, spoiled kid. We got his bow, because we're awesome. The fight, uh, when we actually, the bow part wasn't too hard. The sword fighting, though, it was actually very difficult still. I'm still not good at that part yet. Um, it's been about a couple days since I've, I've been working a little bit, so I've been kind of busy, but hopefully I still got it. Where was I supposed to go? What were we even doing? What is my quest? What is your quest? I finished my training, and now I will make myself useful. I kind of want to do the tournament. Yeah, let's do the tournament real quick. We'll do the bailiff in a bit. I wanna I know how to sword fight now, kinda. Greetings. What business have you? I have tournament business. Like to enroll in the big tournament. Yes. Come tomorrow morning to the upper castle courtyard oh. and I'll gladly sign you up. Okay. Fair. I'm certainly not gonna do it here and now. Fair. And don't forget Got to you. bring three score groschen with you. How much is that? How much is three score groschen? Is that <laughs> is that three or thirty? I think it's probably thirty. I'm certainly not going to do it now. <laughs> okay. I actually have other quests to do, but let's go to the bailiff. So I can make some money. Maybe three score groschen worth of money. Oh, it's the homie. This is a good guy. What are you doing? Are you praying? Oh, there's a... Okay. I was about to say, why you got his hands together like that? Has he been arrested? Okay, I went the wrong way. It's kind of cool how the citizens kind of go about their day doing their own thing during the time. It's a really neat world. Look at my hands! My hands are so dirty! I wonder if there's like bath water I can wash off anywhere. I feel like that's an important thing to do. What is this thing? Ah, it's like a stove. I can take the axe, probably. No, I can't take the axe. Wash me. Yeah, just so I look more presentable in case I have to do some kind of check or some sort. Where's the bailiff at? Is he in here? Nope. Yep. Ah! My legs. Pretzels. I don't know what that star is either, to be honest with you. I don't know what half the stuff is. Ah, this would be where the bailiff is. It looks like a... No. This is not where the bailiff is. I was like, oh, that's the scales of justice. Wrong. This build building, this is where the bailiff is, maybe. What's up, homie? You the bailiff? No, you're the guard picking his nose. Same thing. What are you doing? Let's follow him. He knows what we're doing. Look out. Is the bailer in here? I probably wasn't supposed to do that, but I don't give a shit. Are you the bailer? Bro! Ha! <laughs> okay, I'm here. I found you! Good day to you. Ha! <laughs> what in the world? Master Bailiff, is there anything of interest going on here? Nothing of interest to me, thank Christ. I'm a god dang ninja boy. I'm to put myself under the bailiff's command. <laughs> ah, so That's you're the so young goofy. Man Sir Radzig appointed. I'm yes. sure there's another way to get here. Very well. Sir Radzig asked me to test you a little, and as it happens, you've come at the right time. Oh, we have a few disputes to settle. It seems some of your former neighbors have been acting quite inappropriately. I was hoping having one of their own on the town watch might help sort things out. You can count on me, Bailiff. You're certainly bold. I like that. Have you been to see Captain Bernard? Yeah. Yep. I never even broke a sweat. Too easy, you're bro. You're a bit high and mighty, aren't you? <laughs> well, anyway, you're going to assist my town guard. Come to the church in the afternoon. Yaroslav the Watchman, Nightingale they call him, will wait for you there. He'll show you around the town and teach you a little about keeping the peace. It might and be too you late. You need to stop by the armory to pick up some gear. Yes, Bailiff.
I want to learn to read. Who should I go and see? There's a retired scribe, Anujits. He could teach you. I'd like to Take read. Alright, how do I get out of here now? Because I definitely snuck in here. Which I don't think is right. I need a flashlight. Where's my uh, torch at? What the hell? Where's my... Oh, how do I pull out my torch? So there's a back path here the whole time. Where's this at? So you have to go up here. Let's, I can't see anything. Well, give me a second. How do I pull out my torch? It's so dark out here. There we go. But yeah, so you go up here, you go through here. Lord almighty, I was so lost. But we figured it out by going through the door we weren't supposed to go through. It's probably too late to go to the bailiff now, but or to the nightingale dude, but... I need to pick up a kit. What do you tell me to grab? What kind of armor do I need? Uh, quest log. Alright. Uh, that's not the, no, real quest. All quests. Optional, pick up your kit in the lower room of the armory. Where's my kit at? Oh, you're not the armory. Where is the armory? You're just armor smith. Good day to you. Stop. Are you the brawler who takes bets? What's it to you? I'm a Scalitz refugee and I'd like to try my luck against you. Oh, Hang nice. on, I know who you are. And I'll only fight you for silver. Got it? Why for silver? Do I really have to tell you? Look at yourself hmm. and then look at the others. All they've got to wager is their labor. But you, you've got coin. Okay. All right, let's fight then, if you think you can take me. Hold your horses, laddie. What? First, you have to prove you're a worthy opponent for <coughs> me by beating two other regular brawlers, Stephen and a fellow they call Ringlet. God be with you. All right, but first we got to find a bed, I believe. Oh, there's so many markers, and I don't know how to navigate. Look at this horse. Oh, that's Kampan's horse. The dude we beat! Look at that moon. That's pretty. It's a doggo. Woo! Cobbler. What's this at? Ah, yes. Nice. I think you can just help yourself here. I have to account for everything. Okay, guy. I was told to pick up a kit here. Yeah. Name? Henry. And? In fealty too? Sir Radzik Kobola. Hmm. Yes, I've got you. So, well, give me my kit. come on in then. Make yourself at home, Henry. If my memory serves me, you're entitled to a helmet, a gambeson, and a club. That's all. You want a kiss and a hug as well? Yes. I mean equipment. <laughs> a 
It's quite enough for patrolling the town. You're there to stop trouble, not start it. All right. Well, we figured something out, I guess. But I'm looking for a place to sleep. Do I just, like, steal somebody's bed? Like, what's up? <laughs> God. I'm at the inn, apparently, because there's the innkeeper, but... I have coinage, kinda. Is this the end? Let me in. Hmm. Guess we can go to the church, but it's definitely probably past seven. Where's the clock at? I'd have to go all the way to, back to Rat Time Mill to go to bed. Alright, I guess that's what we're gonna have to do. It's the only place I see with a bed on this dang map. Unless there's somewhere else, but I don't see any. Bed, bed. Nope, it's all the way in Rat Time Mill. Hmm. Alright, I guess we'll sleep till in the morning and at 1100 we'll go to that place tomorrow. And we'll do the tournament probably beforehand if we can do it early in the morning and we'll sell our stuff. God, what a journey though. I gotta walk all the way back while I'm full of crap. Actually, ah. Uh... Ah, my legs broken it. Yeah, hey, we made it. Maybe eight. I want to make sure I have as much energy as possible. Yeah. Yes, I'm going. I want to do the tournament. I'm excited. Yes, I can win the tourney. You saw me beat, what's his name? I'm excited, let's go. <laughs> this is an exciting new day. I'm on our journey. Look at that butterfly. That's the butterfly of luck. That's the butterfly of I'm gonna win this tourney. Put the torch up, dude. What are we doing here? I don't know how to put the torch up, to be honest with you. Ah, oh, hold the one key. Yes. Big brain. I'm running around in the daylight with my torch. I can't see shit. <laughs> you can't sprint, you're overloaded. I'm gonna sell this stuff, and I'm not gonna be overloaded. And I'm gonna go to the tournament, I'm gonna kick butt, I'm gonna be a hero, and then I'm gonna do my job. And then, yeah! Woo! Oh, he's got too much stamina. I got my ass full, dude. That was not worth 60 gold. Jesus. Lord almighty. Rematch. I get another try. Now's the time to choose weapons for the next duel. Prepare to watch a fierce fight with axes and shields. All right. God dang, I always lose that. This dude's got so much stamina. Lost your wind? Yes. Ah, oh, dang, he just hit me with the. Oh, that pisses me off. Oh, that's such bullshit, dude. Oh. Oh, man. God dang it, dude. Got my ass whooped. 
time is it? God, that pisses me off. There's gotta be a way to tell the time in this game. Pump? Is there a dude here that I can fight hand to hand? No, he's one of the guys that has a quest for me. God, I can't believe I got my butt kicked at that turning so bad. I didn't have a chance. I do stamina. Like, when he did, like, a 12-hit combo, I didn't have nothing. And my, uh, I don't know how to win the parries. I always get smacked on. Oh, Lord. Oh, well. Learning. Hopefully the armor smith's open now, maybe. I got some armor for you, homie. Need to turn on my plate couriers. Man, I got my... Mm, I'm still mad I lost that damn... Oh, man, that dude kicked my butt. That really sucked. Yeah, I might do the Wanderer trait. Yeah, why not? You beat your opponent in a clinch, you'll deal... I can't beat my opponent in a clinch. I always get beat. That's good. Let's do that one. Yes. I want them to feel the pain when they block my attacks. I just want to keep hitting them. <laughs> God dang it. I feel like that's good. I like that. So what's his face here? Us from Are you the dude? No. That dude is a jerk, though. That's that one dude that was talking crap for no reason. I wish there was a way to tell time in this game easier. Guy? Yes, nice. Here I am. My name is Henry. We're supposed to go on patrol together. I see you're kitted out. Ready to get going. Oh, I need to put on the silver courier thing. Aren't you that lad the mill wench brought here on a cart? That's me. Teresa. Yes, she rescued me. She turned up with Captain Robot and his knights. All honor to the girl. She has bigger balls than most men. Tell me. How did you pay her back? Hmm. Well, I, um... I thanked her. That's not much, is it? You should go and see her when you get a chance. So, uh, how did you end up in the service of the bailiff? I wanted to enter the service of Saradzig, but he sent me here to learn. And learn you will. You're lucky, lad. Saradzig must like you. Most lords would have just sent you on your way. Come with me, Henry. We'll patrol the town and then check on the taverns to make sure they lock up in the evening. I'm ready. Don't forget, I'm supposed to try you out and, with the help of God, teach you something. So I expect you to deal with any misconduct yourself. I'll make sure you don't do anything too stupid. Let's go. Okay. This is our church, St. Matthew's. Caps. Serves not only as the house of God, but as the crypt of the Lords of Lipa, our masters. The gravedigger lives right round the corner. The priest, too. Our parish priest. Ah, a man shouldn't speak ill about servants of the Lord. <laughs> He's still fat. Okay, that cap's like left key. Makes me slower this than This is him. our rat house. Pretty big, eh? 
The bailiff and his hands live there, and our maestro proto notarius, the scribe. Hmm. And the jailhouse. We don't want to see the inside, not even as a guard. Naturally, we have an executioner too, but he doesn't live in town. That wouldn't be proper, as I'm sure you know. He lives by Gallows Hill, the other side of the creek. This pillory was brand new in autumn, and two people have already been rotting on it. Hmm. The swordsmith lives here. Great! Fresh friends! Come and get it! Man can live my brother Louis. I'll bring the of ale. Ah, I don't think I'll make it to meet Teresa before noon. What the hell noon. is going on here now? Go and check church. it out, Henry. Go back to your people. I don't want you here. Is that... Ah. What are you two screeching about? Stop making such a ruckus. About time you turned up. So This filthy beggar thinks. My name is Jane. Jane. No one cares Joe. what your name is. This filthy beggar thinks she can come and stink in front of my shop. I want you to get rid of her. Must you sit here, of all places? Yes, I do. Why? Why? Fog drive me away wherever I sit. I can't keep walking all day and night. Hmm. She shouldn't be begging in front of a store. Can't you show us some Christian charity, Armourer? What? <laughs> what? Any idea how much I've given away in alms, even to this witch only yesterday. Is that true? Might be, might not. Oh, okay, you, you can get, get the fuck out of here then. Yes. Get out of here. From the armorer here. I don't know. And even if I did, that was yesterday, and my belly's empty again today. That's true. What would you know about it? I'm about to drive her away. Here, Jane. Take this and be on your way. Yes. Yes, thank you. I'll go right away. Right away. God bless you, Henry. Yeah. But what happens if she comes again tomorrow? You give her more? You're making a mistake. Give them coin once and you'll never see the back of them. If you say so. Mm. Good enough. I should have drove her away after if they would have given me the option. It's a bit of a shithole. Even so, we should be thankful to Zahanush. If the town burghers got their way, your folk wouldn't be let anywhere near the town. And now our people aren't too happy with him. Some fools are even calling for Zahanush to finally hand the fiefdom over to the young lord, Zahans Capon. Sir Hans' hmm. father, old Sir Yeshke, may God rest his soul, kept it till he was an old man. Then he retired from it. First to Moravia, then to eternity. Sir Hanush is managing the fiefdom until Sir Hans comes of age. They're related by blood somehow. The same great-great-grandfather or some such. The hmm. time's coming soon enough when the estates have to be handed over. These affairs often end in conflict. I hope we have nothing like that here. You learn Jan Birdie Jasic. What does that mean? <laughs> this square here, it looks much better during the markets. Then it's filled to bursting with folk from all around. Yeah, I should have drove her off once she... I don't remember that being an option, though, once... The... Once I asked her if she was given alms, because I would have definitely done it after he, I figured out he gave her money. We've also got the baker's shop here, and that mad merchant Wolfram Prude. Prude has a pretty daughter, but he keeps her on a short reign, which the young bucks are none too happy about. 
I heard he even keeps the poor lass locked up at home all day. Look here. See that filthy beggar? By Christ, I'll show the bastard. Where? God, oh, there he is. There's one ale. Good health to you. On the market square, the trader's tavern. The other's up by the gate. God be with going there later. I thought he said he was going to do something with the beggar, but he's talking about the tavern. Let's move along to the inner bailey. Hmm. Ah, it looks like we're going to the turning place where I got my ass whooped. <laughs> Lord Almighty. Here's the forge. The blacksmith has some trouble and he's not working at the moment, but his apprentice is standing in for him tolerably. I hear you're a blacksmith's apprentice too. You lot could help if needed, couldn't you? Us? Probably. What do you mean? You and your master, or your father, whoever oh, taught he's you. dead, fam. Hey. What is it, lad? My father was the master blacksmith. He was killed in Skalix. Ah, I'm sorry. I didn't know. Thank you. So am I. My papa died not long ago. Of course, it was old age got him. That's not the same, but I know a little how you feel. Hmm. I feel like, oh, there he is. I feel like he's gonna start some trouble. Trying to catch some Hans, son? Hans Capone? Catch these hands, Capone. Where are we going, dude? <laughs> like, Lord. Dang, never-ending journey. Is pretty big. Naturally, it starts here by the town and continues along the Sasau River all the way to Kohelnitz. Then there's Gallows Hill, lots of farmhouses scattered around. Neuhof, Merhoyed, Master Smill is in charge of Sahanush's stables. He's by far his best vassal. It's all a bit complicated for a newcomer, I suppose. This lord here, that lord there, this exemption here, that right there. Exemptions from exemptions, rights to half of something, so on. It'd take you a year to make head or tail of it. Hmm. This tower was only half the size when I was a young lad. Sir Hanush had it extended and made into an armory. Cool. I'm from Scarlet's and, well, you know. Goodness gracious. This walking simulator is amazing. We can look at all the poor people everywhere. Be with you, Benesh. How goes it? Well enough, Nightingale. It's quiet. Good. Where's Moimir anyway? Isn't he supposed to be here? Who's Moimir? Ah, uh, yes. He hasn't turned up yet. Oh, I see. Now, where might he have got to then? I don't know. You don't know, eh? <laughs> Let me tell you something. When the bailiff finds out Moimir's slacking off, he'll be in serious shit. And being a friend of his, you wouldn't want that, would you? I'm not. So it's better if I deal with it and we leave the bailiff out of it, right? Um, yes, I suppose so. Hmm. But where is he? Uh, in the tavern. He was thirsty, so he... Went for an ale. We know how that goes. Come on, Henry. Let's go and find that idler, and you'd better talk some sense into him. Oh, I'll talk some sense into him, all right. Oh, now we're running? Ooh, speedy boy. It's time to kick some butt, baby. Let's go. Oh, I'm ready. 
Oh, there he is. What the fuck are you doing here when you're supposed to be on the gate? Nah. Move your carcass and go and guard the gate. Uh, I... Not a word. Get moving. You're lucky it was me found out, not the bailiff. Oh, God forbid, Captain Bernard. God, he's fucking out. him down, ain't he? Ha <laughs> ha! Get him, Nightingale. Hey, that's my dude. Gave him the right proper talking Come to. Come sit with me, Henry. Let's have a drink. Oh, now we go drink. Ha <laughs> ha! Oh, pecking order, son. That fool got me all worked up. Shouldn't we be on patrol instead of drinking? You're eager, aren't you? Don't worry, even watchmen are entitled to a break. Except the ones on the gate and the tower, of course. Ah. But that's enough about that. Let's not let it spoil our day. Listen, since we're sitting here anyway, how about a little game? I'm down. Why not? Hmm. So, bring it on. What do we play here? How do we play? Probably hold this one, I guess. I don't know. T. Uh, if you want to try your hand at gambling, it's possible to play the dice game of Farkle in every, in every respectable tavern. The goal of this two-player game is to be the first to reach a certain number of points. Six dice are thrown in the play... Excuse me. And the players alternate turns. Points are gained for every one or five thrown, and for three or more, or any, or of a kind, or of any number. Scoring as it goes. One is worth a hundred points. Five is worth fifty points. Three fours is worth four hundred points. One 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 is worth a thousand points. Okay, what in the world is? Come on, that's a straight one two three four five six is fifteen hundred points. One, two, three, four, five is 500 points, and two, three, four, five, six is worth 750 points. All right. As players, player's turn always begins by throwing all six dice. The player then uses E to select and set aside scoring dice, and at least one dice must be always, always be set aside. Then the player can throw the remaining dice again using F, and the situation repeats. Scoring combinations are counted for the present, though, not the entire turn. The key element of the dice game is that if a throw does not produce a single scoring die, then the player's turn is over and all points gained up to the point during the turn are lost. It is then the opposing player's turn to throw. Therefore, it is advisable to end your turn using Q before there is a significant chance that not a single die will score. I am so confused. And since every player throws his own dice, there is also an opportunity to cheat, but it is more difficult to find loaded dice. The Devil's Head is a set of dice with a joker instead of the one, which acts as a wild... Whatever, this is so confusing. We probably will not play this game much. Actually, I should keep the three threes, right? That's a combo, ain't it? We'll score and pass for now. What you got? Pull me one. God, he got a one. As you wish. Hmm. That's it. What a monster! Stop it. We actually should have kept going. I don't understand. We'll see. This dude's a monster. What the world? Mm. Stop it. <laughs> God, please. My pleasure. Mm. Your turn. My turn. Lord Almighty. Score and roll again, I guess. Oh god, oh my god, screw this game. 
<laughs> this will be the one. What I don't get is he kept scoring and then he kept the same amount of dice somehow. I scored and then I only got the three dice. Oh, that was confusing. A little bit confused to be honest. I'll have a beer. I've only got two hands. Bust. Here you are, and good health. Oh no, I didn't bust. I don't know how he kept rolling that one turn though. He just kept going over and over again. It was crazy. Let's watch him do it again. 51-50. What the f... Oh my god. That's all. So he should only have one... Okay. I don't know what he did the first time then. That was crazy weird. Here we are. This should be really good. Whatever this is. Oh, we're back in it, boys. As long as he doesn't score, he's going to score, though. Ah, oh, dang, dude. Hmm. They're Come rolling on. well this game. Oh, I want to... Oh, well, whatever. I lost. God dang. We gambled all day? What in the world? <laughs> dang, Nightingale. Just one more thing and we're done for the night. Ringing the end of the day and closing the taverns. Isn't it still a bit early? I don't know how it was in Scarlet's, but here in Rate, we close up at this hour. Except, of course, during fairs and big festivals. Then we don't close at all. I see. Should I go and ring the bell? If you wouldn't mind, the bell is hanging outside the rat house. Ring three times, then go to the trader's tavern by the market square and make sure the innkeeper closes up. I'll do that. Before I forget, it's forbidden to walk in Rate at night without a torch. Here, take this one. Hmm, it's a good thing I pulled out my torch last night. Ring the bell. You're one of the people I need to fight, right? Good day to you. Aren't you Ringler? <laughs> Milan says I have to beat you before he'll take me on. And you're that blacksmith's lad, right? What do you want out of it? You're not living in the dirt here like the rest of us. Maybe not. But why shouldn't I try and beat some coin out of him too? Yeah, <laughs> and you can pass it on to us that need it. If you want to fight me, you dandy, then pay up. Or fuck off. Oh, I'll pay up. Catch these hands, son. Oh, shit. Oh! Ah! Well, all right, a learning lesson, I guess. Game over. What in the world? Huh. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> You're fired. Where's this bell at? Town Square? Bading, 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 bading. There it is. Boy. The Trader's Tavern by the Market Square. Is this the Trader's Tavern? Hmm. I guess that's it right here. Looks like it's already closed to me, son. So 
Because I can't do the fighting quest, I don't guess. That kind of sucks. I need to turn out my torch before I get jailed or something. And the canon of St. Wenceslas in Olomouc was so drunk, <laughs> he dragged the pig to the market square, saddled it up, <laughs> and rode it out of the town gate! <laughs> no, 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 we can, we can see. We can oh see God, God we're going to try to close west. it. So, Sir Peter and I rode off to look for the good canon on his pig. <laughs> they do find him. <laughs> we tracked the filthy beast down to a sty beyond Cronau. I mean... The beast with a tonsier on its head. <laughs> this is going to be great. We never found the real pig, but the reverend was sound asleep in the pigsty. <laughs> Birds of a feather stick together. It seems the same goes for pigs and planets. <laughs> I toast, gentlemen, to pigs and planets. God save their bacon. <laughs> so, Hans, forgive my intrusion, but I need... Oh, but what? You uh, want to join us? Want to... Buyers around. <laughs> I'm afraid we don't drink with peasants. You're not in your village now, boy. No, sir. <laughs> Curfew's been rung. The alehouse is closing. <laughs> yeah, punk. Nothing closes while I'm sitting here. If that's all, you're dismissed. Are you out of your mind, lad? You can't cross his lordship. He's got a temper like a bear with gut egg. If I was you... I get lost before he shows it. The I'll bailiff instructed it. me to close the tavern at the proper hour. He doesn't want anyone disturbing the peace after curfew. We're going to get bailiff. in trouble. The bailiff can kiss my ass. I trust you haven't forgotten who's the rightful lord of Rate. No. It's the Sir Hannes. Oh, is he here? What is he? He's hiding under the table, maybe. <laughs> I'm tired of this No. Dude. Then what he wants isn't worth a fart in a bathhouse. And besides, he's only in charge till I grow up. <laughs> Which clearly hasn't happened yet. Enough! <laughs> you can't talk to me like that. I'm a nobleman. Come now, sirs. You're not going to fight here, are you? I will. You most definitely are. This yokel needs to be taught his place. I already beat you in a sword fight, homie. Oh, no, you're screwed. Sorry, fam. <laughs> Beat him down. Beat him down. Where? That'll show him. Oh, he's got me in there. Come here. Beat him down. Give that bastard something to remember you by. Show him no power. Now win. Pretty good at that brawl. Crucifix! What in the name of Christ is happening here? Hell! Get him, Hannish! This peasant insulted me. <laughs> I had to teach him a lesson by rolling around in the mud like a hog. That's a fine example of noble conduct. So, Hannish, the bailiff ordered me Silence. to. Silence! You shut your mouth and thank your lucky stars that you are Radzig's ward. Have you gone out of your mind? Raising your hand to a nobleman? And you, Hans, how many times have I told you that drinking with your subjects might be good for their morale, but it's bad for your honor? <sighs> you spend all your days drinking and chasing wenches, which wouldn't matter if you paid any attention at all to your duties. And now we see what that leads to. Tomorrow, you will go with me to a hearing. Some landowners have asked me to settle a dispute. It'll be an excellent lesson for you. I had planned to go hunting, but if you think listening to the pointless gripes of a bunch of old fools will benefit me, so be it. Ooh, hunting. <laughs> well then, Your Grace, I'll tell you what. You can go hunting. Really? Oh, naturally. Who am I to deprive the young Lord Capon of his sport? And you can take Henry here as your page. God dang it. Him. Absolutely not. You'll do as I've commanded. It's time you learned how to lead people, and not just in drinking and brawling. Now get out of my sight. Oh, Sir, God. I have responsibilities of the bailiff. Not I anymore. 
Your responsibilities now are the Lord Capon. It's time you learned how to behave in the presence of nobility. Let's go. Tell the kitchen I'm hungry. It's been a long journey. Ah, we got in trouble. But I won. I was kicking his butt. Did Yakim get that job done for you then? Don't even remind oh, me. Don't leave a poor woman to starve. Sigismund did everything I had. along, and then cracked out of the blue. Ah, so I got fired from the bailiff already. That's cool. Maybe I can do that brawling quest now. Let's just go there and we'll just sleep there until it's time to go, I guess. I guess I can fast travel now to this place. What is this? Activity giver. That's where I got my butt kicked. Alright, we'll go to sleep for now. Hmm. Not much we can do at night time. I don't think, anyways. Don't shut the door on me, homie. We're fam. Hey, lad. Don't you want a little wager on the rat aid tourney? Yeah, I got my butt kicked, dude. I guess this counts as dawn. Six is dawnish. Hey, girl, wake up. Oh. Okay. <laughs> what? Map. Fast travel. Let's go on our hunt then. I'm ready. You ready? Here I am. I'm overjoyed. Have you got a horse? No, sir. Where would someone like me get a horse? Good point. <laughs> Unless it was a cart horse, I suppose. Well, you'll just have to trot along behind me like a good dog. Hooray. But, sir, isn't there a horse I could borrow? Oh, certainly. Why don't you just have mine? Or, then again, you can just run alongside as befits a peasant. Oh, Farewell. you pissing me off, homie. I learned John Patatka. Let me on this horse. This horse looks nice. Oh, that's Bernard's horse. Never mind, we're good. Oh, this guy's such a lame. I should unhorse him. <laughs> I'll probably get murdered, but it'd be alright. I'm gonna eat nothing to eat at the pot. Dang, he's got a bunch of dogs. I want the doggos. Go, horseman. Let's go. Yeah. Hurry up, blacksmith. You're the one going slow, fam. 
You suck at riding a horse? Like, what's up? My horse is so much faster than your horse. I'm just barely walking. Ooh, I'm passing you. I'm passing you. Oh, you too slow, son. Backwards. I'm outrunning you backwards. Look here, How about that business at the alehouse? What's up? Yes, sir. Hanush was right. I should have behaved differently. More, well, gentlemanly. But that doesn't mean you were in the right. You can't throw a lord out of the tavern in his own town. You understand? Yes. I, I was just... What? Speak up! Don't worry, I won't bite your head off. It's just that when you said those things in the arena, sir, I, I was um, a little upset. Ah, i just like to tease Greenhorns a little. And you vexed me too. You were insolent to Captain Bernard and they rewarded you with service. Whenever I do anything reckless, even if it's for my honor, Hanush is on my back about it and I get punished. Like now. I wouldn't come to threaten me. anyone. Well, it's all water under the bridge. Let's not spoil our hunt. Maybe he's not too bad a guy. I should still unhorse him though. <laughs> oh, the thought brings me great joy. Could kill him out here and no one would ever, well, I mean, we I was the last one to be seen with him, so somebody would know, but. Hmm. Let us talk of something else. Is this your first time hunting? This kind, yes. I've been hunting since I could walk. If you're not a complete blockhead, you might learn something useful. And if you don't cock it up entirely today, maybe I'll take you again. It's always helpful to have a minion at hand. As I said, I have hunted before, but it wasn't... Chasing bunnies with a pitchfork isn't hunting. Observe and learn. I'll do the okay. best I can, sir. Oh, it's doggies. It's the best part of hunting. We have doggos. Can you hurry up your horse? I know it's a fancy horse, so it's slower, but geez. Listen, I wanted to ask you about Scallop. Well, I don't know if... Um, that is, sir, I don't know if that's a suitable topic of conversation for the hunt. We're not hunting yet. I'd like to hear about it at last from someone who was actually there. The Cumans attacked Scallops and... Um, oh, anyone who didn't flee... That's what they all say. I want detail. Is it really necessary, sir? Arguing with the nobility again, eh? It seems you're a bit of a rebel. No, not at all, sir. It's just that... Mm, life's rough. Well, it's hard for me to talk about. I see. So I'll have to get you drunk first. Not sure even that would work. <laughs> we'll have to find out, won't we? There's a nice little place just north of How here. about measuring we'll our strength against each other, huh? If you wish, sir. And don't I'll dilly dally. That. Let's try and get there before the day's out. I want to fight that dude. God, we are walking a long freaking way. <laughs> Lord almighty. Hmm. The town, Berg Woods. There's gonna be an accident out here, I believe. We'll make camp here. Eat from the pot. Oh Lord, sit down, I guess. Oh God, okay, I just got up, dude. <laughs> Saddlebag. All right. What's going on? Coming up, sir. Long last. Oh my god. This is unbearable. So, 
Are you enjoying being on the hunt? I am, although we haven't actually hunted anything yet. That doesn't matter. Hunting is a diversion. The main thing is to get out of Ratte for a while. Listening to Hanush's lectures all day long would drive anyone mad. How come Hanush looks after you anyway? Mm. For a start, he doesn't look after me. I'm not an infant blacksmith's boy. Hanush is just managing my property until I'm an adult. When will that happen? What are you implying? Nothing. I didn't mean it like that. I meant that you seem quite adult to me already, so... Well, it's hard to say. Before he died, my father appointed a council of nobles to decide the matter. Only they can't be bothered travelling halfway across the country just to assess the claim of some stripling. Under normal circumstances, it wouldn't be necessary. The king would decide on my adulthood. Only... The king is gone. Yep. Just so. If I may ask, sir, what does a lord like you do all day? When I was little, I was awfully bored, I can tell you. There was always some courtier or teacher dogging my footsteps. Now I spend most of my time trying to learn from Sir Hanush. Governing is no joke, at least most of the time. Only last week I had to listen to complaints from my subjects. But that could be interesting too, couldn't it? <laughs> my lord, this yokel here empties his piss pot in my yard. And sir, that old hag put a spell on my cow. And <laughs> sir, my old woman is fucking half the village. That sounds fun. A flock of sheep bleating all the time. Even study is more interesting. What are we going to hunt? Cumans. Hey. What? Cumans? I would like to do that. You should see your face. <laughs> I got you there. <laughs> we'll see what we can get. But I'd like to bag a boar. One, at least. And a few hares, too, eh? But what about you? Before I couldn't get a word out of you, now your tongue's loosened. So, tell me about Scallets. I heard Sigismund had a hundred banners there. He just keeps going. I don't know, sir. I didn't have time to count them. Both of my parents were killed in Scalitz, right in front of my eyes. The Cumans slaughtered my friends and neighbours, and it was a miracle I got away. I don't know what else I can add. I'm sorry about that. But tell me, I heard in the tavern... What, that Sigismund flew down on a dragon? That the Cumans have horns and hooves? I'm sorry, my lord, but for me, Scalitz isn't a tale of adventure to share over a tankard of ale. All right. I understand. Well, never hmm. mind. Just being a little bit better. Anyway, it's too late to go anywhere today. But tomorrow we set off at first light. Got it? Yes, sir. All right. Go with fire. What does it what does that mean? Ah, I can turn it off and off. I guess we can do something while we're sitting here, maybe. Ah, I don't have any arrows. Lame. Ah, there doesn't seem to be anything out to that. I don't want to get lost or something and then miss it and have to stay out here like an extra day or some craziness. I guess we'll just sit here then. Greetings. What do you need? Sir? Not now, blacksmith. Keep it for morning. God be with you. What are we doing then? Could hit the tiki, but... I don't know what that book in the bottom right means. don't know what the gold thing means. Where'd he go? Oh, he's sleeping. 
Wake your butt up. Maybe we have a bed somewhere too. There's a chest over here. Ah, nice. we should sleep too, I guess. It's a good thing we got that comfort thing. I guess you can use the T key to figure out what time it is, I get. No, that just tells you how many hours you can skip. You ain't up yet, dude. Get up. Sir? Wake up, sir. It's time to go. Yeah, punk. What? Are you mad? It's still dark. I thought we were going to get an early start, sir. Early means at first light. Light, you dog. <laughs> you want me to break my neck in the black of night? Go back to sleep. Damn. Farewell. <laughs> <laughs> He moved from one bed to another bed. <laughs> there is a A key over here somewhere. Oh, that's just him, I believe. I guess we can wait till an hour. Light! <laughs> Alright, it's light time. Wake up. Sir? Wake up, sir. It's time to go. Oh my god. I thought we were gonna get an early. May the Lord watch over you. Bro, it is light outside. Are you kidding me? Is he gonna go. Oh my god, this dude is a freaking. Alright, you better be up by seven, dog. Now he's waking me up. Are you kidding me? What are you waiting for? Your lord requires you for the hunt. <sighs> Ugh, really? Such a renowned hunter needs help. You wouldn't dare mock your betters now, would you? <laughs> Heaven forbid, your lordship. <laughs> if that's the way you want it, peasant, we'll meet back here at noon. Whoever has the most hairs wins. Oh. And if you don't have anything to shoot with, there's a crate in the camp with some old hunting equipment. You can help yourself. After all, there's no sport in trouncing some wretch who hasn't a chance in hell. <laughs> By all means, Sir Hans. <laughs> ha! You'll soon be laughing on the other side of your grubby face. And now turn your back for a while. I know a few tried and tested spots in these woods, and I don't want you stealing them. Look for some rabbits. It's rabbit season. I'm not gonna follow him. I'm gonna find my own rabbit. Oh, we got one. Lordy mighty. There we go. Lordy. So you can only hold your breath for so long. That missed. That thing was running straight at me and I missed it. There we go. I missed that time. We are so encumbered because we have like a billion rabbit. <laughs> I need more arrows. How did that go through him? I 
I don't know. I can't hit him. Maybe. Hmm. That is he glitched? Oh, I already killed it. Maybe. It's got an arrow in it. Are you kidding me? Oh, whatever. Oh, it needed more than one arrow. Got it. I was like, what in the world, dude? Oh, Prince. Oh, he's not a Prince. Uh, noble dickhead. Where art thou? There he is. Hey, on me. Stop running. I can't run. I'm encumbered. Oh god, he's so fast! I'm about to drop this meat and just chase after him. What if I unequip my stuff? Will that make me lighter? Maybe? No. Doesn't get rid of my noise and stuff, though. Well, we know he went this way. Maybe he's done hunting, too. I don't know. God, he's so fast. Slow down! Please. Where are you going? There he goes. He's walking. That uh, he's not really walking. Yeah, there you go. Mm. Oh, he's shooting. Enemies. Oh God, he hit it one arrow, one kill. I'm gonna pick that stuff up. I'm gonna get his arrow. Ha <laughs> ha! Genius. Here. You might have killed it, but I'm claiming all the benefits. Follow him around, take all the stuff. Where'd he go? Should be done hunting by him now, right? I don't know how long he plans on hunting. Yay. Tons of stuff. How did the hunt go for you, sir? I did quite well. Look, show me. <laughs> Not bad, though. Quite good, actually. For a common blacksmith's boy. Thanks, um, man. Shouldn't there be some reward for the victor? Jesus, the insolence. A serf asking his lord for coin. But never let it be said I'm a pinch purse. Very well, then. Your serf humbly thanks you, my lord. Oh, that's a ton of money. I think we've had enough fun for one day. Can we talk? He seems like a cool dude. You want to go to sleep now? I thought we'd have a bit of a chat again. I'm down. All right, sir. Why not? I probably wouldn't fall asleep anyway. I think we're becoming Tell homies. Me. What's it like to be a blacksmith's son? Was your father a good man? Good and, and kind. And there was no better blacksmith in the kingdom. It's a shame. Smithing is a good trade. What about your father? What about him? He was the Lord of Polna, of course. I mean, I was wondering what happened to him. Why did he get all quiet? He was fording a river with his entourage when his horse shied and threw him. It was in the spring, the current was rapid, and the water icy cold. That's awful. <laughs> Sorry. That's a bad so way to die. And he was such a good horseman. Everyone said so. Well, suspicious. Bed down. Tomorrow, I'll track forward. Very well, Anish killed him. Probably. That's what I think happened. <clears throat> cook an item. Why do you gotta be a certain distance to cook an item? <clears throat> Might as well cook it all, I guess. This sells for pretty good, though, so...
Dang, we gotta go to sleep more till tomorrow? Jesus Christ, and I'm so overloaded with crap. Oh, I got so much crap. I can't even sleep for that long. What can I do in the meantime while I'm waiting? Oh, that rabbit came so close to me. Come here, bud. Ha <laughs> ha! Got him. New perk point available. Our hunting level went up. Cool. You run slower, but keep it up longer. I uh, know. Sprinter, you run faster, but you have less stamina. You bleed slower. That seems pretty good. Final offer. When a trader loses patience with you, you get one more chance to make... That's pretty good. Increase your speech level by plus three when talking to nobles and wealthy... I think this would be more important than the lowborn one, but... We'll, we'll get the highborn one. I think that's good to have. I feel like that's really important. Hunting. Oh, you can own doggos. Huh. I want that. We'll get that because we're hunting boars tomorrow, so that'll be nice. I can wait, I guess. Because I can't sleep. Smart. Well, that's good, I guess. It's good they put an awake command. Because right now I don't really have anything to do. I don't have any arrows or anything. He likes to wake up at 7 for whatever reason. Wait till tomorrow. We did it. Henry, follow me. We're going hunting. I'm down. Let's go, friend. I think we become homies, which is cool. He seems like not so bad a guy, even though he's kind of a dick. I should throw this out. Dang, that hires me don't last for nothing. God, what am I even carrying this for? I can't even probably sell this anymore. Well, it's not completely not sellable, but not for much. Not worth carrying, for sure. What about that deer meat? Something's weighing me down, and I don't know what it is, and I'm not a big fan of it. How much are you waiting? There we go. Is that stupid deer meat? Oh my god. Let. Oh. oh, come here, rabbit. I'm gonna fucking murder you. Oh, ho, ho. How did you dodge it? There we go. Warfare. Yay. Oh, what if I... I would feel so bad if I killed the doggo on accident while chasing the hare. We leveled something up again. That's super cool. Vitality. 
Um, we'll keep... Nah, let's get... I think Thick Blood is good. Let's just get that. Skills. What is leveling up warfare? What is it? Combat. Bailman. You're unable to re unhorse opponent. Oh, you're able to. Oh, I already have those. Okay, I can't unlock anything. Let's go, friend. I guess after we complete this quest, that'll be a good place to stop the video. I'll probably have to edit this one a good bit because I got lost a ton. <laughs> and it took me forever to kill all those animals. I'll probably just cut to the scenes where I actually hit them or killed them or something. His horse has the same blanket, which means that an item's equipped. Whoa! <laughs> oh. It's because the horse has it equipped. Mine. This is a god dang mind boggler. Next level Easter egg. No, I'm just kidding. I don't think that's the same. Is that the same? Hit. No, it's not. That's four. That's five. Close. Can I have some of your arrows? somewhere nearby so just like last time slow and quiet whatever you do understand or watch out for them from the top of that mound there how do I crouch how do I crouch <laughs> God <dang it. laughs> oh the dog goes he's gonna miss give me that bow now nah, Pumbaa run Pumbaa run you want to take him down with an arrow? Certainly. Why, why wouldn't I? You won't kill him like that. Boar is hunted with spears. Is that so? So now all of a sudden you're a master huntsman, are you? Watch and learn. I hear boars can hit like a max speed of like 40 miles per hour or something. <laughs> Did you see that? <laughs> Damn, I'm good. Yeah. <laughs> Quiet. So... Next time you try to tell me I can't kill a boar with an arrow, you can... <laughs> After him! Fetch! Mount up, Henry! We're gonna chase down that swine! <laughs> Good job, bro. Well, I'm glad the boar didn't come at us. How am I supposed to catch him? Oh god, it's that objective thing that doesn't tell me where he went. I can kill this rabbit though. Oh, where's the prince at? Or the noble, whatever he is. God. Lord. My lord? Who are these people? What are they doing? Oh, is that him? Ah, oh, he gave up pretty quick, didn't he? Oh, crap. 
Lát dem ut åt mig! Ha det här. Ha det här. Vad mer equips. Well, that escalated quickly, didn't it? Alright, I'm ready for you. Get my ass whooped. Oh, I got shot again. God damn, where's that air view? I'm getting murdered. I need to redo this. I should have killed this guy first. Oh, they're double teaming me now. Maybe I shouldn't have killed that dude first. I'm so dead. Yeah, I'm gonna have to redo this. I'm screwed. Get messed up, son. Yeah, let's do that again. Oh. God, I got freaking murdered. What are you gaping at, you blue fly? Never seen a real man before? Now they're on that side. Okay. Did they see me? Not yet. Yeah, they did. Hey, what's up? Let me do it. Rio, do it. What are you doing? Let me do it. Let me over there trying to shoot me still I'm hitting him at least but he's just that head piece is just so strong he just doesn't mind getting hit in the head I don't guess hmm, I need my stamina back Trying to circle me back around to his buddy up there. Oh, he stabbed me. It didn't hurt, but he still stabbed me. Ah, dang it, dude. Hmm. Yeah, take that. Why won't you die, god dang it? Why won't you die, damn it? Yes, fuck you. What does this do that? There he is. <laughs> yeah, I don't know what you thought you were doing. I'll ever encumber myself to take all this loot, thank you. Whew, that was an intense fight. I lost about half my health because that damn arrow, dude. I'm coming, Hans. 
You said there was three though. So I'm kind of worried about that. Let me see what I leveled up here. Should be able to bandage myself, right? I have band-aids somewhere. I believe, unless I dropped them. B for band-aid. There we go. That should be good. What does wearing the cumin stuff do for me? Uh, it's really bad for everything. I'm not high enough to even wear it, to be honest. Okay. Well, it's good to sell. We got an ear. That's good. What was I going to do? I leveled something up. Yeah, there we go. I got leveled up in main level, but I can't get anything. Strength. Let's see. Mule 1. That's probably pretty good, because I keep... Tight grip. Your stamina regeneration will not slow down in combat, even on the weapon backswing. That's pretty good. Boar, you can deplete an enemy's health and stamina by bumping into him with sprint. The effect is increased if your armor is heavier than his. That's pretty cool. I like this, though. I can just keep popping him. Yeah, that's a good one. Anything with stamina seems really good. That'll work too, I guess. I'd like to get this eventually. Fast Striker, that'd be dope. That was cool. I like that fight. I, first time I got <laughs> anally <laughs> gaped. That was awful, but we did it. Don't worry, it's your savior. I took them off. He said there was three, though, so that worries me a little bit. Let me eat real quick. I want some of their pot. Alright, now I'll save you. You're not much for fighting, are you, dude? Come on, Henry, old chap! You're not gonna leave me here, are you? No, of course not. I'll have a bronze bust made of you, my friend. But where have you been till now? Oh, you know, I was picking berries, had a drink of wine, to put on that. <laughs> Tick. They almost had me roasting on a spit. <laughs> I'd say it looked more like they were about to take your maidenhood. Now look <laughs> here, dung grubber. Is that any way to Oh, come on, man. Nobleman? We're buddies. Uh... <laughs> That's, uh... Let's see this. Nobleman with crushed balls, friend. <laughs> now you're playing with fire, boy. I could have you in the pillory for that. Oh, okay, yeah. With my own two hands, I'd I thought we became homies. Crush your balls! <laughs> <laughs> hey! It doesn't look good, Sir Hans. You're right. Those cumin swine roughed me up a bit. And my damned horse has bolted. Horses ain't royal, bro. I'll get me home somehow. The sooner we get out of here, the better. Who knows how many bandits are creeping around here. Let's go then. I've had quite enough excitement already. Reputation lost? With who? It's Lord Capon! Get here, how did I everybody. lose reputation? You, help him! Huh. I think we did good there. I don't know what we lost reputation with, but that's my homie now. How is it possible, Ratsy? Those bastards make so bold no more than a mile from the castle. We'll have to send out more patrols. That won't do us any good, Hanush. Even if we had ten times the men, we couldn't beat through every thicket in the fiefdom. You sent for me, sir? Come in. I don't know how to thank you, Henry. If it wasn't for you, Hans would be dead. And to think I sent you out with him as a punishment. <laughs> I was only doing my duty, sir. Don't be so modest, young Henry. You showed not only courage, but loyalty to your liege. That's why I'm taking you into my personal hey. service. <laughs> Sir, I... Uh, 
Thank you, sir. Well, let's celebrate your promotion and Sir Hans's recovery. Well, don't just stand there, lad. Pour us a drink. I'm sorry to interrupt, sir, but I've urgent tidings. What now? Henry better not be dead. That's my homie now. A stable boy er, came from Neuhoff. What's his name? He says brigands raided the stud farm this morning. There's many dead or maimed. Hans, that's my homie. Tell us exactly what happened. I'm not sure. The boy was so shook up he could barely speak. He said the bandits murdered for the joy of it. They got my key. I'm sorry, sir. Your vassal Smill is dead. Who did this? Who were they? We don't know, sir. Oh, revenge. The stable boy just kept babbling about some huge fellow in black armor who led the attack. Take Kids. as many men Ooh. as you need. And don't stop until you've found those bastards. I want this. And bring me their heads. Yes, sir. My men at your disposal too, Vinish. Thank you, friend. Sir, let me ride with them. He's full of piss and vinegar, isn't he? Their leader. He must be the one who attacked me at Scarlet's. Ooh, I'm ready. There can't be two men in the whole kingdom who look like that. You think he might still have my sword? No doubt you could use another swordsman, Captain. Uh, as you command, my lord. How soon can you leave, Bernard? Soon as the men are ready, sir. Good. Wait in the courtyard for Henry. And uh, give him a horse. His own mount? His reward for saving Sir Hans. He'll need it. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Well, go! I want these culprits in the hands of the executioner as soon as possible. I won't let you down, sir. Dang, that's a cliffhanger, boys. I want to keep going, but I need to end it at this part. But yeah. Oh my god. Now, this has been a fun part. Besides getting like lost so many times, which I'll cut out because it's going to be a long video if I don't. Um, but yeah, if you like videos like these, we please like and subscribe. And bye! That was fun. That was a lot of fun. I'm ready for this next part. That battle with the Cubans was dope. Hmm, that was good.